its design makes you speechless its power cannot be outperformed it will be with you as a true training companion it makes your life easy and enhance your productivity by its handy features and it serves you day and night continuously for 14 days with one charge my name is Dave and we are talking about Huawei Watch GT2 I know till the time you already heard about Watch GT2 from many sources because it's uh, in, in a very small time Huawei Watch GT2 gets huge popularity in social media and in, in real life. So in the video I would like to tell you how to connect Watch GT2 with your smartphone, how to set up and how to customize it so that you can use all of the feature of Watch GT2 completely and you can enjoy it. So let's watch the video. Before knowing how to connect Huawei Watch GT2 with the smartphone, I would like to show you what we are getting inside the box. As you can see, I have already unboxed Huawei Watch GT2 Sports Model 46mm. So inside that box, you will get one Huawei Watch GT2, one USB charger which has a C-type port, one USB-C type cable and two booklets. This time Huawei did a very good job by launching two different variants in India. One is this 46 mm in size and another one is 42 mm in size. With the, uh, in 42 mm size Huawei launched one sports model which comes in black color and black rubber strap. It is very light in weight and very beautiful in design. In 46 mm there will be three different variants. One will be uh, this black one sports model which comes with black rubber straps another one is leather strap which we named classic model and third one is this premium one which comes in gray color in gray metal uh, metal strap so now let's connect Huawei Watch GT2 with a smartphone so the best part is Huawei Watch GT2 can sport Android smart Android operating system and Apple operating system both so from Huawei Watch GT2 you will find two buttons then you have to tap and hold on the top button and your device will turn on after it turned on it will ask for the language so I am selecting English language then straight uh, straightfully it will come to the pairing mode <coughs> in the devices you can connect Huawei Watch GT2 by health application. So there will be two, three scenarios might be number one, if you are using a Huawei smartphone, so you will by default get Huawei health application inside the device. If you are using any other Android device, then you need to go to Play Store and from Play Store, you need to search for Huawei health application. As I'm using Huawei smartphone, I just open it same you have to do for apple devices you just need to go to app store and you have to download health application other steps will be remain same now from the device you will get two options one you can directly go to devices option and you can add or you can go to these three dots and from here you can add so i'm now as huawei has multiple products so i'm selecting my product which I want to connect which is Huawei smartwatch now I have to select the series of smartwatch as it is GT2 I'm selecting that that now I just need to tap on pair it will ask for the permissions I have to allow it that okay you can connect with Bluetooth now it started searching as you can see the name of my watch is watch GT2 F, uh, 5FC this I can find it here I just need to tap then it comes the pairing request i need to select ok now in these simple steps my device has got connected now your smartphone is requesting for phone book request or your watch actually so i'm giving all the request done it's done my watch has got connected now I would like to tell you the customizable options from the settings of Huawei health application. <clears throat> so the first one is watch face for which I will record another video how to change the watch faces from this health application. Then second one is help so you can get multiple options or you can find uh, the option for which you want to help. 
then it comes to Huawei TrueSlim. So Huawei Watch GT2 is having a very good feature with the help of which it can record your sleep data and then make a summary of it in the morning in the data it tells you at what time you go to bed at what time you get out from the bed how much quality uh, what kind of quality of sleep you got at the night from here you can turn it on then your watch will automatically start recording the data there is no another point you need to do then continuous uh, then activity reminder so this is also a very good feature so for example you are working on your laptop for more than one hour so after each hour your device will remind you okay now you are sitting for a very long time just stand up and do some activity third option you will see from here is continuous heart rate monitoring so this continuous heart rate monitoring actually Huawei Watch GT2 will give you a very good option that it continuously 24 hours a day it it monitors your heart rate so here you can select the option you want one is smart option and second one is real-time option smart means it will see your activity and according to that it will record your heart rate monitoring or real-time simply means that 24 hours without stopping it will record your heart rate monitoring but as you can understand if it is recording 24 hours then your battery consumption will be increased after that you can see there are two kind of different alerts your watch can give you one is high heart rate alert and one is low heart rate alerts so for example you are a heart patient or for example you are doing some activities or exercises so you can set your heart rate alert so uh, for a continuous 10 minutes if your heart rate increased you from your highest heart rate then it will alert you and then you can do as as required then the next option will be automatic stress test this actually a very beautiful add-on by Huawei from Wajit one so now your device will see your stress level and the, the it record your stress level based on heart rate monitoring also so you can turn it on and after that everything will be done by your device you can set uh, five alarm from your watch and you can wake up and then there will be music option I will record another video how to add music in, in the watch but from here you can see that in your watch there will be more than 500 songs you can add then uh, the next add-on is notifications so you can set for which location you want notification on your watch so you can select as much as you can I'll suggest the important ones as it also increase the battery consumption then favorite contacts as you can see and as you are aware that Huawei Watch GT2 sports direct Bluetooth dialing directly from the watch so you can set your favorite contacts here uh, maximum 10 contacts you can select so that you can directly call them from your watch if it is connected to your smartphone then weather reports watch will give you weather reports temperature and everything directly on your wrist next one is bluetooth disconnect reminder means if uh, somehow by any means if your watch is got disconnected if you are far from your device or earphones then it will remind you that okay now you got disconnected rage wrist to wake screen okay it's a very good option so for example you want to see time you just need to use your wrist and it will automatically screen is light up and you can you don't need to tap any button then firmware up upgrade so i recommend you to every time you need to check whether your device has got any update or not because updates got many many new options or the last one is restore factory settings where you can uh, restore your device to factory settings and unpair if you don't if you want to connect or disconnect it so these are the customizable options you can find or you can see from health application now let's see some of the features in Huawei Watch GT2 itself you can use this Huawei Watch GT2 by swiping top to bottom by swiping bottom to up from right to left and left to right and tap and hold so for example if you want to go settings options so you just need to do from top to bottom here you can see the settings of your device you can find from here if you go to the right then you can see your heart rate monitor stress level all these things if you go to the left then again the same thing it's actually uh, a circle kind of you just need to move and you will go to 
the first option from bottom to up you will find all the messages all the notifications which you got from your phone you can see here let's see what are the other options we can find in the settings so go to settings the first one is earbuds or you can say any bluetooth compatible handset you can directly connect with your watch as your watch is having inbuilt storage so it is a very good option if you are going out for jogging or running you can simply connect your bluetooth headset here from uh, the watch directly with the watch and you can directly listen to music listen to the music second one is display so in the display you can change the watch faces what kind of watch face you require you want to use so there are multiple different choices of watch face you can see to the home screen settings in the display you will find another options like brightness level like i'm selecting five then it will it will consume more power in advanced option you can select for example standby watch, watch face so if you want to turn your watch face permanently on so you can select either from uh, the digital one or the analog one but remember it will increase the battery consumption you can also select the f color of that face after that you will find uh, sound so volume you can select from here notification silent mode you can turn it on and then the next option you will find strength so vibration strength so strong soft you can select from here do not disturb you can turn on down button so down button basically it sets for workout as per your requirement you can change it also if you want to uh, change it to heart rate you just need to change it here change it from here after that you can see system options so you can restart your watch you can power on off from here you can disconnect from the phone and you can completely reset your watch uh, from this option then about you can see all other things the model device name mac address serial number everything you can see from here so these all are the tips and tricks or these all are the customizable options which you can use or you can do while you are using your huawei watch gt2 after connecting with a smartphone and uh, at the same time i would also like to tell you after connecting you can see this kind of data every day for example you can see your exercise records you can see your heart rate you can see your sleep data you can see your if you have connected weight scale and you can see your stress level so in the end i can say what what gt2 is a beautiful upgrade from and if you compare it with any of the device available in the market so in terms of design in terms of battery backup in terms of all the features it is having in terms of all the sports feature it is having and a very beautiful add-on like you can play music directly from the watch you can directly call your favorite contacts you can even answer calls uh, answers to the calls directly from the watch even because of the inbuilt microphone and speaker you can talk to any of the person directly from the watch i can say ki huawei watch gt2 is a very very good option to choose that's it thank you